Welcome to the Word Podcast. The Lord God has given us His Word. Let us learn it. Let us live it. Let us rejoice in it. Spread the Word. Blessings, everybody. This is Dale. Thank you so much for joining with me today on the Word Podcast. We continue through our examination of 1 Timothy. We're in the sixth chapter, and we're going to begin with the 11th verse and sort of back up from there. <laughs> That's right. We're going to begin there and back up because of what it says. Here's 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 11. But flee these things, you man of God. Flee these things. Now, if you've been with, the, with us from episode after episode, you probably remember a little bit about what's been said in the most recent episodes, and I would encourage you to go back and look at those. But let me just recount them real quick, the, just the first few verses out of this chapter here. We have learned that we are to flee uh, the things of the world, okay? There's false teachers. We need to make sure that we avoid those that advocate a different doctrine, avoid those that don't agree with the sound words. And it's the sound words of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's the words that conform to godliness. So if someone is not teaching, is not preaching godliness, if they're not preaching holiness, if they're not preaching the true gospel of God, we need to avoid them. And that becomes difficult sometimes because a lot of times uh, it comes from the pulpits of our churches. Okay, And there does come a time when people finally have to say, well, you know, thus far, no more. And they vote with their feet. They depart from there. Uh, I see that happening a great deal nowadays. <clears throat> so he tells us to avoid those things. Avoid these men of depraved mind. Avoid these men that are deprived of truth. We saw that in verse 6. And the whole idea with these guys was that they thought godliness was a means of gain, that they could gain material welfare, stuff in the world, okay? And how do I know that? Well, because in verse 7, Paul said, for we brought nothing into the world, so we cannot take anything out of it either. So that shows us the context of it. And he tells us you need to be satisfied. In verse 8, if you have food and if you have covering, with these you should be content. Food and covering, food and clothing. If you have food and if you have clothing, you need to be content with these. And then he tells us that uh, verses 9 and 10, that rich people fall into many a temptation and that the love of money is the root of all sorts of evil. And because of this love and pursuit of money, that there's been many who have uh, wandered away from the faith, that it pierced themselves. Notice how he said that. They pierced themselves with many a grief. In other words, it didn't need to occur. It didn't have to happen. It didn't have to be this way. But they did it to themselves because they were pursuing money. Well, what should they pursue? Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Verse 11, where we are now. We see two things. These men had been pursuing money, and it had gotten them in trouble. Paul is telling us and telling Timothy to flee from these things. Flee from the type of evil uh, that comes about when the love of money is your driving force. Okay, Flee from that. You man of God, notice he's speaking to those who are true believers. He says, flee from these things and pursue. So 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 11, he tells us to flee from these things and to pursue something else. And here's what he tells us to pursue. Pursue righteousness. Pursue godliness. Pursue faith. Pursue love. Pursue perseverance. And pursue gentleness. This is what the man of God is to do, is to not get caught up in these other things, but to flee from them. Okay, yeah, you, you, we address things, absolutely, okay? We see that throughout the writing here and that we've seen so far, and you see it throughout the New Testament and the Old Testament. Uh, people with depraved minds, that they're deprived of the truth. We speak forth the truth, okay? We fight the good fight, in other words, which we're about to see. But we fight the good fight in a different kind of way. We flee from the strategies of the world and the patterns and practices of man, and we pursue certain things. Now, I put the word pursue in front of each one of these things. Verse 11 actually says, pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. But the way this is structured, the idea is that we pursue each one of these things. Now, think about that. 
You pursue righteousness. And you think, well, I thought I was already righteous. I thought when I repented and confessed and called upon the name of the Lord that I'm now in right standing with God. Well, you are. Yeah, that's true. But we continue to walk in that, and we continue to pursue uh, the fruit of that. It's the working out of your salvation idea. And then he says you pursue godliness. Okay, you pursue godliness in everything. Uh, it's actually the word piety, okay? Being godlike in everything. And faith, love, perseverance. Have you ever thought about pursuing perseverance? Quite often we think that perseverance is something to be endured. <laughs> you know, I'm going to persevere through this rather than pursuing it. And then gentleness. Verse 12, this will be the last verse we look at today. He says this, fight the good fight of faith. Wow. How do we fight the good fight of faith? By fleeing these things and pursuing righteousness, godliness, faith, love, perseverance, and gentleness. That is the way we fight our battles. Then he continues in verse 12. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called, and you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. So apparently there was at some time when uh, Timothy had made a good confession, a confession of faith, and he did so in front of many people. And Paul is telling man, you take hold of that. You take hold of the eternal life to which you were called. Hang on to this thing, okay? In other words, it's not just something, well, I'm saved, so I guess I'm okay, so I'm not going to worry about it. No, you take hold of that. You live it out. You pursue it. You fight the good fight, okay? Fight the good fight of faith. So, my time's short today, so I'm going to stop right here, but I want to remind us of this. Flee these things, pursue these things, fight the fight of faith. Again, I'm Dale. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.